Hello, hello, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, and in this series we will follow Aloy on her journey to complete all of the side quests throughout the map after completing the story mode so that we can deal with just about anything the game throws at us. So we are currently here on the map, which is just outside or just inside Meridian, and we have a challenge just by the Hunter's Lodge. I believe this is the last challenge available in Meridian. So we are going to approach the exclamation mark and the gentleman below it and find out what he wants. Someone over there. I haven't had a break in ages. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant a, a well-molded woman such as you. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> The last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it? Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora, girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right, I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. You wouldn't see a good car girl riding a machine like that. So it turns out that the Banuk have found a way to tame the machines, and we have been tasked with investigating this rumor. Uh, so we're going to have to make our way to the Banuk territory, and as you can see on the map, it is an extremely long way. We are going right to the far end of the map right before the frozen wilds and we don't have a campsite too nearby so we are going to jump 
to our nearest possible point and we are going to have to hoof it the rest of the way and hopefully we won't bump into any machines or things like that along the route although with such a long journey to make that is unlikely we are likely to bump into at least That's some it. machines and here some are as we speak now normally I try to avoid these battles but these particular machines are very lucrative and it is always worthwhile to attack them uh, these are like the crab type machines I can't actually remember their names or the name of the machines but they are incredibly good because they carry storage crates on their backs which usually have something worthwhile in them so as I said it is usually a very good opportunity here to take these guys out they are relatively easy to eliminate with the tear blast arrows but they do have shields so a surprise attack is often the best way So once we have gathered up all of the valuable resources we can then continue on and we are now getting relatively close to the Banuk territory as you can see it's getting a little bit foggy and a little bit cold and just to add insult to injury it started to rain so we're just going to restock our ammo and supplies here because we have no idea what to expect when we arrive at the Banuk camp. And here we are now. So let's go and investigate and what we can see here, it looks like tame machines along with people. So it appears the rumours are true. So let's investigate the further. Bilgen told me about. So what happened to the other mercenaries he sent? The machines are docile. It's like they've already been overridden. So as you can see there are a number of quite vicious machines there are some watchers but there are a number of scrappers as well and we don't want them turning hostile so let's uh quickly speak to the chief Solomon, you're trying to understand the machines here too yes nora and taking my time with my studies between you me and the spirits i appreciate the peace not just from the machines. There are many changes in Band Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world. The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues so i welcome mystery the machine spirits are angered in all places but this one group. it's a riddle she rides machines she rides machines the spirits of land are her favorite
The grove is a gift to us each. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be before they grew angry. I, I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing and we listen to the machine songs. The machines sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We're not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? Tikuk, have any other outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell, or perhaps it slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but maybe my focus can. So, we believe that these machines are docile because of a device. Uh, this device will be around the Banuk camp somewhere, and we've just got to locate it. And I think we just have. So we're going to make our way up to that area there, and hopefully along the way we may even find the Osiram uh, explorers that the merchant has sent before us. So we've just got to find our way up the mountain. Ah, there looks like a yellow tinged ledge just to our left there. That's the one. So let's make our way up the mountain. Ah, luckily there is a path here, thank God. I hate climbing. Climbing is a chore, even though the path is incredibly short and we are back to climbing once again. But we are making progress. We are making our way up the mountain relatively steadily. We are almost there, I believe. There's little way to go yet. Unfortunately, when climbing these rocks, I don't know whether it's color blindness on my part or just not being able to see, but I tend to not be able to spot those yellow markings or light grey markings that indicate where climbing opportunities are. So the climbing aspect of this game is somewhat difficult for me. 
but we have actually made it up I believe to the highest point and we have a few more tame machines up here it looks like glint hawks quite possibly so around this final corner here and we find the Osseram I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind. Nora, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up and uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. But we tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. So, some of the hired Osaram are trying to remove the calming device. Uh, we need to stop them. Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All he's ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. So let's go and see how much damage they have caused. Uh, it looks like the damage may very well be irreverable or irreparable or irreparable even. So we better get back down to the camp as the machine, uh, the signal device, seems to have stopped working and the Banuk in the lower area in their camp may now be in some trouble as they are probably not used to fighting machines because they live harmoniously with them up until the uh, Osaram arrived anyway. Yep. And it looks like there is a no. fight going on. Attacking. So let's join in, shall we? The hunt is back. Oh. The machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Yes. Roar and rend at me. I don't fear it. Now you'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. Well, all the previously tamed machines are now dealt with. Let's go and speak to the chief once again and give him our condolences. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Osaram thought. The Osaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us, between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone, and we are left with many songs, but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook.
so the Banuk will now have to learn to live without their device and their tame machines and we now know what happened here so we can return to Meridian as you can see once again it is an extremely long way but we have visited Meridian many times so there is a shortcut available to us now, unfortunately I do tend to get lost quite a lot in Meridian especially at night uh, it is currently night as you can see and I can never find my way around the inner workings of Meridian so I tend to hug the outside edge until I can find a relatively useful route uh, I'm heading for these stairs here but I believe that's a dead end if we go through the arch here are the stairs I am actually looking for and at the top of the stairs yes we will find the gentleman in question who has hired us with no friends or outlander are you looking for wait I know your face you came back how did we fare expensively that's what I was afraid of the tame machines it's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Carja silks? Ugh. Hoisted on my own purse strings. So there we go. One more side quest completed. We're going to leave the story there for now. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.